In this lecture, we will learn what it means to write asynchronous code. Let's say we were preparing a dinner. We want to cook meat, vegetables, bread, soup, salad, and make drinks. How would you go about this? If you want everything served to your guests at once, would you cook these items one by one or simultaneously? The answer, of course, is simultaneously. If you cook them one by one, the meat will get cold while you're cooking the veggies. Then the veggies will get cold while you're baking the bread. This is why chefs prepare each part of the meal simultaneously. While the meat is cooking, we are preparing the dough for the bread. While the bread is baking in the oven, we work on the soup and salad, etc. In a computer program, code is executed line by line. If a function is executing, the program will wait until that function call finishes executing to go to the next line. Asynchronous code runs simultaneously. It allows our code not to block other code that is running. In the next lecture, we will learn about coroutines.